Hello, I'm Vershawn Ashanti Young, otherwise known as Dr. They, and I'm an editorial board member on the series Studies in Writing and Rhetoric, SWR. And the SWR editor, Stephen Parks, asked me to do a short video for potential viewers on what a good book proposal for SWR includes. So I'm going to tell you from my experience, from being on SWR as an editorial board member for three years and reviewing numerous book proposals and book manuscripts before that for the past 10 years or so, what I find to be a good book proposal and how writers can bring parts of that book proposal together to make a strong argument to the reviewers. I think there are six primary elements of a good, strong book proposal. The first element is you have to know and articulate well what you're writing about. What is the topic? What is this book about? And you have to know really, really well and articulate in no uncertain terms. In fact, in plain English, what your book is about. This is not a general description, although it can include general information, but it's particular. What is your particular book about the particular goals of your book, the particular aims of your book, the particular research of your book. What is it about? What am I about to read? The next element, number two, is why is this important? Why is your book important? You've told me what it's about. Great. Now, why should I care about it? <laughs> What's in it for me? Why? should your audience read this book? Why do they need to know it? Why does it need to be in the world? What purpose does it serve? What does it do for the field? What does it do for the topic that you just described in the opening? The third element is how your book differs from others. Now, this doesn't just mean that your book has to be vastly different from others or you have to stretch the imagination to say, oh, my book is unlike the 15 others in this particular field. No, this argument needs to be about why we should know your book and its relationship to the other books. Does it deepen the conversation? Does it repeat certain necessary elements of a conversation in order to advance this topic even further from your unique perspective? But you need to tell us why this book is different. Because my time as a reader is precious. My time as a writer and researcher is precious. And if I'm going to read your book, I want to know why the other two books I've read on a similar topic are not good enough. Why must I read your book? Why must I teach your book? Why must I cite your book in my research? Now, you don't have to answer those particular questions, but what's important is how does it differ? The fifth element is good writing. Good, 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 good writing. Now, I've read some book proposals where people have tried to sound smart and they have bored me to tears. Or people have tried to sound smart and they have used language in such a way that it obscures the major points that they're trying to get at. No, good writing is writing that is alive, that does not try to sound like other authors, where your unique voice 
is carried through. It's undeniable that the signature voice is there. I like to advise authors to use plain English wherever possible. And even if you have to say something in technical or academic terms, say it twice. And the second way you say it is in plain English. Translate it. Good writing takes time. So the book proposal needs to be a reflection of what the kind of writing is going to be in the book. It's not a different. The book is an extension of the book proposal and the writing needs to be good from start to finish. And the last element, number six, is follow the guidelines. Read the SWR author submission and proposal guidelines. I once read a really interesting book proposal on a topic that was making a major intervention, I think, in the field. But the author did not read the guidelines. The author actually didn't even know, it seemed from the proposal, the types of books that SWR publishes. Now, the, the, the book proposal that I read said that the manuscript to be delivered would be somewhere upwards of 360 pages. Now, if you know SWR books, you know that they are not 360 pages. And so immediately to me, as a, as a reviewer that is contributing and volunteering my time to give quality, substantial feedback to the proposal writer, as well as to um, Steve Parks, the uh, editor, I feel that you, a proposal writer, should honor that. And they should honor that by knowing the guidelines, playing along on this team. But by saying that this author was going to deliver a manuscript upwards of 360 pages, was like, well, is this an SWR book? Do they even want to publish with SWR? Is this a is SWR a sort of you know third choice? I mean, they didn't even think to revise according to the guidelines. So know the guidelines and let those guidelines jump off the page. Let, let the reviewers know and let Steve Parks know that you know this press and you, you know this series and that you want to publish with it. It's a great, great series. Um, the books are top notch. I mean, the most recent books are winning awards and top sellers on NCTE um, press site. You can see that. I mean, just just excellent. So it's a, it's a great series. So these six, six steps, which I'm going to reiterate, uh, know what you're writing about, know your topic, make sure that that's clear and focused. Why is it important? Tell us exactly why your topic and theme and what you're writing about is important. Know to whom you're writing, which audiences are your book, is your book, which audiences are uh, going to read your book and which audiences is your book geared towards all right and how does your book differ from others deepens or repeats or advances um, the scholarship good writing make sure the proposal is a reflection of what that book will be and follow the guidelines Steve asked me to do this video in a short time frame I think I went over the time he has a lot of, but I wanted to repeat myself and make sure that you got the point of what I wanted to convey. And he also wanted it to be informal. So I'm doing this right in front of my backyard, which is one of my favorite places to be, but it's a little drizzly outside. So I hope this helps and I hope to read your proposal for SWR.